Passing the buck. Unraveling the phrase. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, passing the buck. This phrase is not just a collection of words, but a reflection of culture and history. So, let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Passing the buck refers to the act of shifting responsibility or blame from oneself to another person. It's often used in situations where someone avoids taking responsibility by making someone else deal with a problem or decision. For instance, if a manager at work doesn't want to make a tough decision, they might pass the buck to their supervisor. The phrase, passing the buck, has an intriguing history. It originates from a poker game practice in the 19th century. A marker, known as a buck, was used to indicate the person responsible for dealing cards. If a player didn't want to deal, they could pass the buck to the next player. This physical act of passing a marker laid the foundation for the metaphorical meaning we use today. Understanding the phrase is one thing, but using it effectively in conversation is another. Here's how to do it. 1. Context. Use it in contexts where someone is avoiding responsibility. 2. Tone. It can be informal or formal, but it often carries a negative connotation. 3. Examples. Saying, the government keeps passing the buck on environmental issues, implies that the government is avoiding responsibility for environmental policies. English is rich with phrases similar to, passing the buck. Some of these include, shifting the blame, like passing the buck. This means making someone else responsible for one's faults or problems. Ducking responsibility. This is another way of saying avoiding responsibilities. Playing hot potato. This is a less formal phrase, likening a problem or responsibility to a hot potato that's too hot to hold. So it's tossed to someone else. And that's passing the buck for you. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Remember, language isn't just about words, but the stories and cultures behind them. Happy learning and see you in our next video.